Today, I'm going to present to you one of the best PvP guides you're ever going to get. And a lot of people, a lot of veterans, a lot of Redditors are going to say that this guide is absolute bull honky. And I'm going to tell you that it's not. You're going to see that it's not. So the way we're going to be doing PvP today is we're going to be doing it in the mists, in the, the full loot lethal mists in the black zone, right? And uh, we're going to be using an ultra cheap build. I want to show you the build real quick. And if you've been following my newbie guides and my fresh starter guides and all that stuff, you're going to be fully prepared for this. So we're using a curse staff. We're using a cleric robe, hunter hood, and soldier boots. We do not have it offhand. We do not have a bag or a cape or food or potions. And we don't have a mount. I'm going to show you why right now. So uh, for the mount, we are going to be using the mule. And you may be thinking, well, first off, before I talk about the mule... This set is worth 4,500 silver. That's it. That's all I need. 4,500 silver. You can pick that up off the ground in just a few mob kills. You can get this set in in like a, a minute of picking up rocks, dude. It's that easy. Now, for the mule, mule is worth about 5,700 right now. Except it's not. You see, I have a secret. Um, this is a members-only secret, but there is a way to farm mules incredibly fast basically for free. Now, you know when you make a new character and you run through the tutorial, you can grab a bunch of mules and take it with you, right? And mules only cost three silver in the tutorial zone. Well, there's a way to carry a lot of mules, and this is this members-only video will teach you exactly how it works. Now, I'll tell you, uh, I spent about six or seven hours yesterday, and I was able to farm 2,500 mules. That's right, 2,500 mules. So basically, mules for me are free. Now, real quick, I just want to explain, it's a members-only video, which means you have to click this join button right down below here. Five bucks a month, it's like subscribing on Twitch, except it's here on YouTube, and uh, again, it's too good for the general public to know about, because then everyone will do it, and then the mule market will be completely busted. But, let's get on with the PvP action here. So, I am in the Bridgewatch portal zone, and we're going to, uh, hold on, reset camera, and we're just going to go out to, uh, you know, just a, a random area, and we're going to find the first mist that we encounter. We're going to go invisible, of course, and we're just going to ride out, pick a random direction, it does not matter, and we're going to go into a mist. So, you want to make sure that you have your volume up and that you have your sound going, because we need to listen for mists. I can hear one right now crying, there it is. Click your log out button, and you will unshield yourself, and you will be able to activate the wisp. There we go. So now we can enter the wisp, and uh, I'm going to show you a lot of tricks on how to find players. Your goal here is not to fame farm. You're not doing anything in here except fighting people, okay? You're only fighting. So the first thing you want to do is once you've entered the mists, rapidly left click your mount, and then push the A button, and you will instantly remount. You want to make sure that you're playing on a low ping server, or this part doesn't work. What this just did is silence my mount. I am now running without making a sound. You also want to make sure you're wearing headphones, so that you can hear other players make any sound. So we're going to just ride around until we hear another player either attacking a monster, or riding their mount. So we're just going to ride around until we hear something. And we're not going to engage any of the enemies, we're not going to do any of the objectives or anything of the sort. Of course, if no one comes to this objective in 15 seconds, we'll do it. So there's two players there, and uh, you don't... Let's go investigate. So we have tier 6 battle axe, tier 4.1. So these guys are going to fight. These guys are now going to fight, and that's totally fine. And we're going to just come in at the last second and kill one of them and take their stuff. That's all we're doing. And, uh, yeah, see, so this guy is fighting. I can also kite mobs into them, and maybe the mobs will attack. I can also have enemies dismount me, so I can immediately start fighting. And you may be wondering, well, I'm just in flat tier 4, what can I do? And the answer is, well, I can do a little bit. Um, <laughs> but most importantly, I can, um, I can definitely execute people. I'm 100 spec in this, so I'm basically a 4.3 cursed staff user. Right now, these guys are not that damaged, and they're just kind of messing around. They're, this guy used his boots, so he can't run anymore. Uh, so he's, you know, he's trying. He's running away. He's running away from the curse staff player. We're all just kind of hanging out. This is generally not something I would stay and fight over, but, um, you know, <laughs> basically, this guy's low enough. I can probably maybe kill him now. And like I said, I'm only risking 4,000 silver to do this. That's all I'm risking. Now, I've got the timer because I didn't dismount far enough away. You generally want to dismount when you're far, far away from them. This guy might actually escape, and that's fine. Uh, <laughs> maybe. 
Uh, no, he's not gonna escape. So this is my kill now because uh, there's not there's nothing he can really do. Uh, he's he might is he gonna escape? And there we go. Uh, we just made six hundred ten thousand silver. Um, and what did I risk? Four thousand silver. <laughs> so this this is all my loot now. Thank you very much, uh, Corno Metro. And yeah, other people could you know like fight me or whatever. So there we go. Put on the bag. And I'll just put on his mount, and there we go. I just made... Oh, this guy's engaging me. Okay. Except I have all my cooldowns. Oh, no. So, what is he? He's a 4.1. I can maybe leave or run? Here, let's just fight him. And, yeah, he, he I just might kill him, too. Like I said, I'm very dangerous in this 4,000 silver set. I didn't fight him correctly, but, hey, he might also die. So... <laughs> oh, we killed him! Well, hey, more loot for us. Very cool. Now, we're actually very low health. So uh, throw on this potions. And, oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Now, I didn't... I really should have won that. I'm going to be real. We got a lot of good stuff here. And, uh, yeah, we, we just made almost a million. <laughs> and, I, like I said, the risk was 5,000 silver. <laughs> Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, I can do this all day if I want. Like, I, I know uh, you may think this is cherry-picked footage. You, uh, I'm going to show you again. I'm going to go bank this, because why would I carry it around with me? Uh, but before we leave, I do want to get a little bit of a Gucci or set. I'm actually 100 spec in Death Givers, too. I'm very confident in Death Givers, so I'm going to wear that. I'm going to wear the cape. Uh, this is actually a better um, outfit. I am, I'm a, I've got a lot of spec in a lot of this stuff, so um, we'll go and put on that cape. And, uh, put on the sandwich. Yeah, anyway, so we're pretty decked out now. I can get back pretty safely. I know this is a little wacky set, but, um, it works. Let's go bank, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue the tutorial. I'm not just gonna end the video and be like, well, that's all there is to it, because I, I want to show you more situations. Now, I'm actually gonna use the, the return home feature, even though home is right there. I don't have a shield, and there's usually a lot of gankers that just set at the gates waiting for people to run back. So obviously, I'm not going to just run back. I'm going to pay the 30k to secure my 900k, if if that makes sense. Now, yes, there will be a small repair fee, obviously, for all this loot. <laughs> uh, again, um, this happens all the time, uh, constantly. Uh, so it's this is not like a one-time thing. So we're paying 148k, so we're only, you know, making not as much. Let me get my original gear back on. Where's my mule? Yes, that's right. We're taking taking this, all of this off. We don't need any of it. Well, I guess I do need it to um, to move. So let me put that bag back on. Come here, bag. There you go. And uh, you may be thinking, well, if you took a bag in the first place, you wouldn't have this problem. But you almost always loot a bag. So now we take the bag off, and I'm just going to do some quick selling here so I can get the video moving along. And yes, I... Dang it. Uh, yeah, let's... I know I'm losing a lot of money on that. Well, okay, you know what? That's a little too much to lose. Let's just do that. It'll it'll sell. All right. So let me just clear out the inventory real quick, and you can be like, why aren't you replacing the mount with a horse? And it's like, because I don't want someone to take... I don't want someone to, to succeed. When they kill me, half my stuff's going to trash. They're going to get, like, 5,000 silver. And like I said, the mules, are, for me, are free. I... It's a members-only secret. I'm not going to tell you unless you become a channel member. Or, if you want... Uh, there is another way. If you join my Discord, that's right, you can join my Discord in all the members' videos. I have all the information I will gladly share with you. There is one issue with joining my Discord. It's very hard to get in. There is a link in the description. However, you will have to be uh, active. You have to pass a questionnaire, and you have to play with me, uh, which uh, a lot of people don't like to do. So... <laughs> Uh, it is very hard to get into the Discord, but you can just become a channel member, and, you know, that's the easy way out, I guess. So, let me just sell this, and you can be like, why don't you just, why don't you edit your videos, Swole Benji? And, well, why? Why do I need to edit my videos? Just hang out with, you're hanging out with me, bro. That's, uh, that's pretty steep, so let's, uh, let's not quick sell that one. <laughs> I mean, come on, it only takes a second, whereas it would take quite a while to fire up the editing software, render the video, and so on and so forth. Okay, we're back to our... Well, it says 10k set. I don't know how it became... Oh, the... The... The, the, the uh... It's counting the, uh, mule. Man, I don't have a lot of sleep right now. Okay, so we're going back out so I, so I can finish teaching you this. 
But um, you can just constantly do this method, okay? And yes, it won't always work out. Sometimes some 8.3 guy will run up and one-shot you and you're dead. I honestly should have lost the fight um, to the Death Givers guy, but he either didn't have the spec, he messed up. I messed up attacking with my Grudge. You also don't have to use Grudge, you can just use the Root spell. I forget what it's called right now, but um, that's all. this is all you have to do. So, here, we're going to start the guide over again. Now that I've shown you the results, we're going to rapidly left-click our mount, which dismounts us and remounts us. Now we run silently. This works with horses. This works with the uh, mule. It does not work with cats or birds or certain other mounts. I, think, I don't think it works with wolves either. And we're just going to ride around until we hear another player. So, let me put on my headphones so I can hear. Hopefully, I'm not speaking too loud into my microphone, but uh, here we are. You can also hear other mobs. When mobs are walking around, they have a distinct sound. You can hear mobs growl and grunt. There is a chest spawning there. There is also that, which is spawn. So we want to run towards objectives. When I hear footsteps, I know I'm approaching a player. And I can dismount off their screen so I don't get that timer. So you, I hear the footsteps. You hear the footsteps? Dismount time. Let's go. So we know we're approaching a player. My mount's despawned. I'm committing 5,000 silver to whoever is... Around, they're at my bottom right. There they are. And we can just attack people. You don't have to wait for them to be in a situation. Like this guy, I could maybe kill him. He is a he is definitely killable in my build. My 5k build. And he's worth way more than 5k. So, what about this guy? This guy's a way harder to kill. I probably can't kill him. But I could definitely wound him and someone else can finish him off. And I might be able to escape. Alright, so not a lot going on. People just riding around me. No one's dismounted. No one's fighting mobs or anything at the moment. So what you want to do is you generally want to fight someone uh, who is in a bad situation. This guy would be foolish to even engage me because it's not... I'm worth 5,000 silver. He has no reason to fight me at all. He has zero reason to dismount and fight me. He risks everything. His internet could die while he fights me. I can risk 5,000 infinitely forever. Even as a new player, 5,000 is nothing. So I need to uh, I need to re-silence my mount. Remember, just spam left click and then mount up. And we're we we hear sound we hear we hear our mount. Like, over here there's no sound, but over here there is definitely sound. So we know there's someone at the chest. And he is dismounted. So let's give him a scout. We might be able to run up on him and get a, get the surprise. Oh, it's that player. I I'm pretty sure I can't kill him. Also, he's got undead cape, so he's gonna be able to slip away. So there's no real reason to waste time on him. But I could engage him and then run away. And then these guys might try to kill him or kill me. So, uh, but these these guys also aren't really worth engaging because their sets are also really cheap like mine. But if you want to just kill them anyway for their horses, a stag is 50, 70k right now. Like, if I just get the stag, I profit massively. So you could totally fight these people if you want. Like, it's at, it's 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 an option. And you, the way it generally works is if they're just running around ratting like I am, you honestly aren't going to catch them. You're not going to dismount them with this build. Um, but if they're doing... Like, this guy left loot in the chest. I'm going to go investigate that. I'm also dismounted now. Someone might dismount and try to kill me, but I'm deceptively powerful. So uh, let's check the chest and see if we got anything. You know, if it's worth more than 5k, we profit, right? So there's 4k in here. And we could take it. And look, like, runes and stuff don't really weigh anything. There's no reason you shouldn't take these. It's 5% of my weight without a mount, without a bag. Without my boots set to carry weight. And, uh, yeah, let's just fight. Let's just fight people. Like, they're just gonna run away. They're not gonna let me force that curse them. This is why you would want the root if you want to dismount people. I don't really care about dismounting people. I mostly care about finding someone who's fighting mobs. Like, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's the... He's a little wounded, so if I use Grudge, I could dismount him. If he rides by me, if he rides towards me, I'll activate Grudge, and I'll pop his mount. But other than that, we don't really have a lot of people in this mist right now doing things. So you can ride near objectives, and if you hear a player doing an objective, you can just sprint in with your soldier boots, running super fast, and you could get the kill. If they're already at a disadvantage, they will probably have used cooldowns fighting the mobs, so they're not going to use them on you. They're just going to run away. And if they're in an ex inexperienced player, they will die. And like I said, you don't, you can't lose with this build because it's worth 5,000. It's the cheapest build ever on YouTube. There is not a cheaper PvP build. 
Oh, we got here. Oh, this guy is super new. Look at his his HP is under 2k, and he's in tier 5. So he, he's a little bit harder to kill, though. I'm going to tell you why. He's a healer. Healers are definitely very hard to kill. And another th a trick, too, with the mule is that you can dismount very quickly. You can just have random mobs kill your mount, and you're immediately into combat. You don't have the cooldowns. You're ready to go. So let's ride by this mob camp and see if we hear anybody fighting. I have to make sure I pay attention to sounds. Nothing yet, but I'm just going to circle around it, and if I hear someone killing mobs, I can just run in, and he might be low HP. He might be, you know, he, he anyone you find in this situation will be worth more silver than what you have on you. So it's it's always worth it to charge head first, even if you run into Juan, and he's an 8.4 daggers, and he's full HP, and he kills you. You, you spent 5,000 silver. <laughs> Who cares, right? So, it seems that there is no one in this camp, at least on the outskirts, actively fighting. And we know this because our mount is silent. Oh, there is someone. There's someone in there. I heard something. But it's more towards the north. Okay, well maybe it was this guy. I know I heard something, so let's go see what he's doing. You can also hang out on the edges of their screen and see if they dismount. Okay, it's the Great Axe dude. Oh, we can take him. We just reflect the E. That's super easy. Now, the thing is, if we pop boots to chase him down, then he he wants to farm in here. That's what he's doing. He's hovering around. Oh, that's a boss. Now, this build is not, like, I'm not killing the boss. That has 11,000 HP. He's going to catch himself on fire. I don't have a mount to tank his fire. Killing mobs is, is really not worth it. I mean, maybe I could take that if I really gave it my all, but it puts me at a huge disadvantage. Also, look for dead mobs, too. That's another thing. That's part of the training, part of the advanced PvP guide that I'm showing you here. Uh, I I thought I heard footsteps. Someone, Someone's in there. They're, d they're deep, though. If you ride up to one of these camps, there's always enemies guarding the entrances, right? And if you don't see an enemy guarding the entrance, then someone has killed them. It's really hard to run through a camp with this mount. I will admit that. Uh, you can see, yeah, there's, I guess, no one in here. Bummer. Uh, so if you, like, like this, this one is already starting to close. And you don't have to do this for mists, but if you do it in the black zone, in the open world, you're almost always going to have 2v1 situations. It's just way easier to find vulnerable players in the mist and newer players in the mist. Even though the, the mist is mainly used by 8.3 players, it's also used by new players who are convinced that it's safer than the black zone, which it can be, I guess, but... Uh, in this case, we just need to find a new mist. So, you're not always going to, um, you know, strike it rich like we did earlier in the first video. But, um, I will say that you can find way more valuable people. You find an 8.3 or 8.4 player, uh, in a bad situation, this, this build pops them. This build is just, you scoop up the loot. You only have to hit someone once before they die to be able to loot them in the mists. Alright, let me get my headphones back on so I can hear. And uh, let's go find some more players. Now, let's ride it near this camp. Now, we just joined this mist, but it could have been active for a little while. You never know how long it's been open. At least, I don't think there's a way to know. And we're just listening for mobs. We're just going to listen to see if anyone's fighting anything inside. And you can hear beyond the sight of your screen. For those that don't know that, your audible range is higher than what you can see in a nameplate. Like, you can hear a player and not see their nameplate at all. So this is why it's very important to have headphones, surround sound, all that stuff. What we have here? That guy is very powerful, and he has undead cape. We cannot win that fight at all. So, um... But, if he's wounded, if someone else is fighting him, and he doesn't have his cooldowns, and he doesn't focus us, we can absolutely kill him very quickly. And that's part of the fun, is, um, taking people's loot. And our risk is so tiny, it's... This is the most lethal build you can possibly run with the least amount of silver spent, and that's the power of it. You are not overpowering people, you're not outplaying or outskilling people, you're just beating them at the money game. Okay, so there's no one in there. Uh, we can go down to here, down to here, and see if we can find a player, or if any uh, objective is spawned. Now, sometimes it does take a little bit to find players, and you don't have to be some sort of PvP god to be able to do this. You just... And need to have, like, a little bit of money. And that's all there is to it. If you keep doing this, you eventually win. That, that's the cool thing. It's like, imagine a slot machine that pay that costs one penny to play in real life. One penny. 
and you you sit there and you play it and you play it and you play it. You play it like 50 times. You play it 100 times, 200 times. You play it 10,000 times. That's $10, right? Eventually, you you know, the machine goes ding, 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 jackpot. And then you made $1,000. Well, you only spent 10 bucks to make 1000 So you profited. Okay, and it's only 10 bucks, right? Like most people make that in 20 to 30 minutes in first world countries. Uh, if you're in like, you know, Venezuela, yeah, that's like a month of pay, I guess. So again, we, we're not hearing anything right now. There is like, there, there's that one guy, but that's it. So, anyone in here? I'm not hearing anything, and there's no bodies. If you see dead corpses, bodies, animals, anything on the ground, that's a telltale sign that a player has been near. And uh, this is such a small camp that I would be able to hear the entirety of it, so there is zero players in there. Now, there is an objective, so we're going to ride towards that with our mule. And if you really hate the mule and the fact that it's slow and has no health, um, you could just ride a horse, okay? Um, but the great thing about the mule is that when you need to dismount and have your cooldowns ready, just run into some mobs and they hit you a few times, and you don't have that yellow exclamation point, um, which we had earlier because I screwed up. But Now let's see if we hear anyone trotting around. Let's see. Listening in. See, I heard that bird flapping. I hear I hear someone. There, there's two of them. Okay, that's a powerful build. And see, these two might fight over it. If I dismount, I bet they'll dismount. Rats. That's exactly what I am. And I'm proud of I'm a very dangerous rat. Follow me. They ran did they really run away? Now we can listen for them. We're gonna re we're gonna do our trick again. So there's a guy up top too. This guy is dangerous because you can see that his reputation is in the red. And uh, he would be hard to fight. He would be very hard to fight. He's got high spec. Uh, he's got better gear than us. Um, but he only has 300 more HP than us. And our build is we kill beyond the grave. So let's see what happens. Because these guys, these guys aren't going to give it up. They outgear that dude big time. So, <laughs> like, this guy can slap that other dude around. No problem. Okay. And if I start attacking one of them, the other one might be on my side because here, there's like a there's a weird dynamic with um, with uh, the mists. Okay, people in 8.3 usually get focused down first, but also people in my gear set also tend to get focused down first because we are worth nothing and we're just super annoying. So if I want to spend 5,000 silver, I can absolutely torment this dude. Which is what? Oh no! He he has the yellow. You see, he <laughs> the, the fight's on. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. He's already like in a bad situation, dude. This guy has barely two thousand. Is he gonna dismount me? I would love if he did that. He's gonna eat his food. He's gonna remount. That's fine. But yeah, see, his HP is now low enough where we could handle this as long as we don't get executed by his blood letter and. Uh, and he doesn't ice block the first... Uh, well, he's going to ice block the first execute, obviously. But, um... <laughs> uh, now that he's healed, it's uh, it's a tougher fight. We don't want to engage that. But you you can just run at people, and, and sometimes they may have a lot of gear, and they may have, like, a build that's pretty much going to guarantee that they win, but they panic, or they're new at the game, or they're on a cell phone, and they just can't hit their hits, they're lagging, they're bad at the game... And let's say they're not. Let's say you risk it and you die. You lost 5,000 silver. You get right back out there. You try again and again and again and again. Like, I just... what We made, like, what? A million silver earlier, almost? Well, how many times can I die until I break even? Okay, we take a million silver. And we're going to divide that by 5,000. Uh, 200. So I can die 200 times in this set before I am um, back to square one. And in those 200 times, I'm going to make more silver. Like, it's just guaranteed. There's there's nothing, there's nothing you know, saying that I won't, right? But when, when you play this, this is the rattiest of <laughs> mist builds ever. It is the most hated build to encounter in the mists. And like I said, it's only five. It's even cheaper than 5,000 silver if you buy order it. And I hear, I thought I heard a player. Someone is nearby, I thought. Yes, there is a player down here. It is... Oh, it's this guy again. What is he even doing? He's just hanging out. Oh, he killed somebody. This guy... These guys are fighting. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> oh, he overcharged. Look at that. Oh, that's an A3 guy. That's a juicy boy. That is a juicy boy. You, and, and here's a fun thing, too. You can just hang around near the 8.3 players and just hang out outside of their screen radius if you really... <laughs> if you, like... <laughs> they're trying to kill me. They don't like me around. I'm the rat. They want to get rid of the rat. But I can... This is, this, this is its own reward, is having people just follow you around. And I'm, gonna, I'm on a freaking... What am I on? I'm on a mule. <laughs> oh man, these cl these carving sword bros, man. The thing is, I definitely can't take two of them, and they want me dead because I am a threat to their, uh, just to them in general. Normally, you don't you don't get to pray. These people know what they're doing, so obviously they're not they're, they're not good targets. If I find another mist. I've already scattered out all the players in this mist, right? So if I find another mist, I'll just jump into that one because it's kind of a waste of time to stay here since they're just going to follow me around and dismount and chase me around and not fight each other. We want them to fight each other. <laughs> also, if you see like icons like this, this means that they are in an Avalonian raid guild. So they probably have more experience. They're not a new player. Um, if they have a fancy avatar, especially a blue one or a golden one, that means that they're an arena player or a Crystal League player. So that's another telltale sign that they know what the hell they're doing. Oh, look at this. He's going to fight. Okay. I will... I can I can totally fight. Oh, no. he's, he's actually following me. So here's another tip, too. If someone's going to follow you like this, try to... Is he using his dash ability or something? I can run away with, with uh, soldier boots. I don't have to fight him, right? But if I, if I kite near mobs, the mobs will slowly whittle him down. Right? Like, watch this. He's going to aggro this mage now. Maybe. Maybe not. But you, you could run your mobs, and eventually, uh, the mobs might whittle him down. So he's going to... He's actually going to chase me. Okay. I am totally fine with fighting this dude, because my set is completely worthless. Though he has a counter right there. He's got several counters. <laughs> so, um... Part of this is... It's just fun to just kite him around. Like, if he pops boots, I can pop boots, and we're back to square one. I could switch to root and root him if I want. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let's just see how long we could leash him around, you know. This is his own reward. Let's see if we can get him into these mobs right here. It's like this. Come on. Touch the mobs. There we go. Oh, see, now we got the mobs on our side. Oh, got a curse on him. He's going to run back a little bit. What are you doing, bro? He's got another mob on him. I've got two curse stacks. Remember, I'm deceptively powerful. Okay, well, if he's... <laughs> is he going to turn around and fight, or what? What's he doing? Now, I, I wasted my uh, my grudge there, so I'm at a disadvantage. I should probably run around just a bit. And if I had some sort of food to regenerate my health, yes, I would be in a better situation. So, let's just uh, hit the reflect. Hit this. And uh, he's going to go invis. I'm going to use my boots. I'm just going to spam all my abilities. And he might pop boots, too. And now I'm being attacked by the mage, so that's no bueno. But um, like I said, I can just run away here. If he if he uses boots, he can't really run from me anymore, right? Which might be what he's doing. <laughs> there we go. We gave him a curse explosion. Now remember, other people can dismount and fight him too, right? So look at look at his HP. Look at mine. I'm t I'm still winning this fight, and he's gonna he's gonna leave now. <laughs> now he can come execute me. That's his build. His build relies on executions. But hey, we had a little tussle, you know, and uh, he's got the max specs too, just like me. Now, this guy's wanting to clean up. He's the 8-3 dude. <laughs> so, if anything, we could we could both team up and fight him. You never know what's going to happen in these things. But like I said, if you die, you lose nothing. It is it is free. It is completely free. Uh, but yeah, you can have a lot of fun doing this. I know that um, not a lot has happened. That's because I'm not hopping a bunch of different um, mists, which you should be doing. So I'm just going to leave and find a new one because there's no newbies in this mist. Everyone knows how to fight. Every no one's doing objectives. They're all, they're just here to fight like me. They're doing the same thing I am, but they're risking more silver. And while I say you can do that, if I'm in like five, if I'm like, say I'm in a tier eight with the same build. What, what, how, how much stronger technically am I? Not that much stronger, right? So we're just gonna, we're just gonna change mists here, and, uh, we're gonna do this again. We'll do this till we die. Why not? We'll make it a long video. And, uh, <laughs> some people complain, they're like, ugh, you need to make your guide shorter. Hey, guess what? This is a let's play. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out yet. 
So we got uh, we got some gatherers that might be here. Probably, probably not. Most of the time, you're not gonna you're not gonna see any gatherers. So let's listen. Let's try to find some players. See if there's anyone, you know, trotting around. And here's the thing: if you find a player dismounted, like if I'm riding in this direction and I see a nameplate that's dismounted, I'm gonna listen to see what they're doing. Are they fishing? Are they fighting mobs? Are they chopping trees? And if they are, I'm going to dismount off their screen, and I'm going to charge up my soldier boots, and then I'm going to run at them and hopefully scare them and kill them. <laughs> uh, but that last mist was just full of people doing the same thing that I'm doing. Because it's profitable, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's what you end up doing when you have maximum specs. But any anyway, like, uh, so let's find some players. Let's go over here. I like to, you know, check up here too. And, uh, like I said, we're just listening for players right now. We're just waiting until we hear something. And when we do, we're going to try to peek at their nameplate to see if they're dismounted or not. And if they are, we'll run at them. If not, we can run up and inspect them. And they can inspect us, see what's going on, know, know who's all in, in the mist, and so on and so forth, right? Let's see, we're gonna, I guess, go towards an objective. You, what you, it, you can get some big bank, like, especially if you find a credit card swiper. That's the big prize of the mist. You run into a credit card swiper who's new to the game and doesn't know what he's doing. We hear a player. This guy is shielded. He might be AFK. His set's not really worth getting. He's not AFK. Okay, so we can just move on. We're not gonna catch that guy. He's just gonna be able to run away. He also, um, he's, yeah, he's got two escapes. So he, he's also not really worth that much. So there's really no reason to like harass and chase them around. If they're AFK, that's free loot. If they're a credit card swiper and don't even know how to play and they have like full 8.4 gear, then you can still kill them with this build. They're not like immune to damage. This guy dismounted on us. Okay, I could probably kill this dude. I could absolutely kill this dude. And he's fighting. So he is mob grinding right now. Maybe he's pretending to mob grind. So I'm going to dismount off screen here. And he mounted. He's chasing me. He's he's wanting to fight me. See, his, his just his mount is worth more than like my whole set. Just his weapon is 27k, right? I mean, his mount is what 100k. This dude is totally. I would love it. Like this dude totally wants to fight. I could stand in his attacks and, and just have him dismount me. Yeah, go for it. Come on, let's go. Dismount me, bro. Let's go. Like <laughs> and reflect. Look, look, look how he's ha he has to run away now. You see, he's dead. He had no chance to fight me. And look how much I made, 200k. Look at that. I, I just heard someone dash. No, that was me. All right, so there you go. Now I have a new mount, and I have a new bag, and I have a new chest armor, <laughs> and I need to stop putting stuff on so I stop getting cooldowns. If you do this while you're mounted, you don't have the cooldown. And, uh, hey, I also have 100 spec and bow. I could use this. Uh, you know, <laughs> put that on. That's a, see, it's easy. And, and, and to be honest, you know, that guy, he, like, I can show you. Like, he did not know what he was up against, okay? So you can see here, I can't see his stats because I'm in the, in the mist. So we have to leave the mist so I can show you the stats. And I, I could stay and continue to fight, but no, this is 200k. I, I, I gambled 5,000 silver. And I made 200,000. Do you see where I'm getting at now? Do you see how this this is an absolute... This is the only smart real way to PvP. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's it's still fun. It's still entertaining. It still passes the time. And it pisses... It, like, one of my goals in video games is to piss people off. And it absolutely pisses people off to, to lose to this. Okay, so let's look at the stats. 91 million. He's killed 185 people. So this guy's technically more experienced than me. Because if you look at my stats, I've only killed 181 people. Oh, I'm going up. 181 people? He's killed 185. We're about evenly matched, right? Even though technically he never stood a chance. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, there you go. That's how to make money and the, the advanced guide for, for PvPing in the mists. I'm telling you. It's it's great. It's it's awesome. I need to repair this stuff and sell it. And what? Well, we made over a million and we, we didn't die, okay? Most of the time, you're gonna die. Like, you're you're absolutely going to get hit by some 8.3 guy. He's gonna take half your HP, and then you're dead before anything happens. So you can just spam all your cooldowns. And sometimes, you know, you'll take them out with you. Like, what'll happen is you'll tag an 8.3 guy with your curses. He's gonna get wounded, and then everyone's gonna swoop in and kill him. And then you, you're now an assist to that kill, which is... Uh, if you care about that stuff, fine. If not, it's whatever. 
but um, <laughs> uh, we're just going to sell our stuff now, and I absolutely can't move, so now I can, and now I can't. All right, and that's the video, guys. If you enjoyed this, let me know what you thought in the comments. There are going to be lots of people that hate me for teaching you how to rat, and I don't really care because I care about you making money and having fun, and this is how I have fun in this game, okay? Uh, so make sure you hit the thumbs up button uh, to fight off the rat haters. And with that said, click that join button if you want to learn how to get those mules and other fun very advanced guides that will make you absolutely rich in Albion. Click the right- the, there's a video on the right side of your screen. It's there right now. Go ahead and click it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you there.